The Akwesasne community has reached the 50% threshold regarding the number of community members who are vaccinated for COVID-19. SRMT family nurse practitioner Teresa Gardner spoke with Akwesasne TV about questions the community has had on the subjects of testing and vaccinations, beginning with booster shots. Moderna approved their booster. So um, we now can go ahead and start giving the booster, which that was the first vaccination we started with way back in January. So our next clinic, which is the 27th, we will be giving Moderna booster. Pfizer booster also is supposed to be like the beginning of November because we started in May. But if somebody comes in for the booster, we're just going to give it to them. Now, the other thing that they talked about is the mixing and the matching. So if you had Moderna for your first one, you can now have Pfizer for your second one, if you choose so. We know we're gonna get busy. Um, and like I said, this next week, our vaccine clinic will be 10 to one, but as of November 3rd, that visit, it will be 12 to four. So if a person wants a, a booster vaccine, we're asking you just to walk in. For people with compromised immune systems, a chronic condition or disease, a third shot has been added for additional protection. So the third dose is actually something that's come out in the last little while. I would say probably the last couple of months. If you are somebody who has a really chronic illness, you know, we look at rheumatoid arthritis, heart disease, cancer, and you got your, say you got a Pfizer, and you, you got day one, and then day 21, you got your Pfizer. You could do in 21 days again, a third dose. Moderna would be day one, then 28 day, because they're 28 days apart, and then 28 days again, that you would get the Moderna um, third dose. Mm -hmm. And that's meant to boost your immune system. Because they think that it's safer for you to have the vaccine than it is for you to get the illness. Because you could actually die from the illness. That's the unfortunate part of COVID. Another question community members have had is about the difference between a rapid test and the polymerase chain reaction test or PCR. Teresa explains the difference and why they should almost go hand in hand. Rapid tests are tests that we do for people who are symptomatic. PCR, and what that does is detect the, the virus in the nose. That is the gold standard. So, you know, we want to make sure that if somebody gets a rapid, we do a PCR with it. Knowing that you're doing it on the right day is also very important. Especially if I'm asymptomatic, I should wait at least six to seven days, really, to be honest with you. Finally, children ages 5 to 11 will have the opportunity to line up for a vaccination in the very near future. Pfizer is coming out with a um, small dose for the 5 to 11 year olds. We're actually taking a phone calls for parents that are interested and we're anticipating the first week of November. But what we're going to do is take names and then we'll call people back and we will get you in.